guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, I'm Patty, and on Mondays I make gnomes and characters. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make this adorable little firecracker gnome. He's got a little fuse, little hands that made of firecrackers, little cherry bomb feet. If you wanna know how to make him, stick around. I show you how. Okay, for this one, you're gonna need a pair of socks, some clay, a bead for the nose, a little spray of um, for 4th of July, a couple sticks, some jute, some pipe cleaner, a five inch noodle, some faux fur, some stuffing, and some foil. Okay, let's get started. First thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our noodle and we're gonna stick it down inside of this sock. Now, you do, you do not have to use the Dollar Tree noodles on this. You can use any size noodle you want because the sock will go over any of them. Just pull it all the way down to the bottom. Just kind of make sure that your lines are straight and then just push into the middle because that's where we're going to glue it and then just go open up the sock and make sure you have enough to, put, to push that down into the middle and then just go ahead and cut that off and you actually have enough to make two gnomes with this okay go ahead and take that sock back off we're going to put a little bit of glue inside the center and this is what we're going to push that bottom part into so go ahead and pull your sock back over it just make sure that if you are using the striped dumb sock that your lines are straight Go ahead and get that glued in and then we're going to go ahead and pull it up on the top make sure it's straight on the top as well and then we're going to glue in the top part okay next we're going to take our sock and we're going to make our hat we're just going to come up from the bottom from the top of the cuff and curve up seven and a half inches turn it inside out and then we're going to take about a two inch piece of jute and that's going to be our fuse for the top of our hat. Just put that in there and then we're going to go ahead and glue that in and glue all the way down the sides till you get back to that area where that cuff is. Next we're going to take two pipe cleaners. We're just going to twist them together and we're going to curve that down the back of the hat. So go ahead and cut that off. Curve your, your ends in because you don't want any pointy ends sticking out. And I just twisted mine up and just going to glue that right down the side. Okay, then go ahead and turn that right side out. And then I'm going to take some stuffing and stuff it in there. Now, I'm just making it enough to where it's um, it fills it up, but it's not bulging. So just enough to make it full, but not um, you don't want any bulging areas on that hat at all. Okay, next I'm going to cut my beard. I'm going to cut it at one and three quarter by one and three quarter. And I'm just going to go in a U shape from one side to the other, just kind of curving around, cutting the backing of the faux fur only, all the way back up to the other side, and then just comb all that excess fur off of there. Next, I'm gonna come down two inches from the top of that noodle. I'm gonna make a mark, and that's where I'm gonna attach my beard. Okay, then pull your hat on down. And then we're going to go ahead and attach his um, nose. I'm just going to pull the front back a little bit and I'm going to attach his nose right almost up to the top, say about a quarter of an inch from the top. Okay, next I'm going to make the sleeves. I'm just going to cut a three inch piece off of that sock and I'm going to cut it in half so I'll have enough for both arms. And then I'm taking this little spray, and the only reason I'm using it is because I wanted that wire that had two different colors twisted together. If you don't want to do this, you can actually use a piece of jute or a string or anything you want to use for the fuse. I'm just going to take my um, sleeve, and I'm going to hem up the long end with the stripes going up and down, and then the short end. And then I'm going to take a pipe cleaner. I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to put my fuse in there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece off for the fuse. I'm going to take a quarter inch dowel stick and I'm just going to roll it around there to kind of make a curly end on my fuse. And then on the top tip, just take your pliers and kind of twirl that in a little bit because you don't want it poking out there. You don't want anything sharp sticking out. Then I'm going to go ahead and glue that in first and then I'm going to put my pipe cleaner right up next to it. And then just roll this really tight because you don't want the arms to be real loose. And then do the same thing for the other arm. OK, 
Okay, next we're going to go ahead and just cut the um, pipe cleaner flush with the sleeve and then just put a little bit of glue in the top just to hold it in. And then we're going to bend those over about a half an inch because we're going to tuck those up underneath the hat. And next we're going to make the feet. Just take one um, quarter inch by six inch dowel rod and cut it into two and a quarter inches. I cut mine long here. I had to go back and redo them. So just cut them both at two and a quarter inches each. And then go ahead and sharpen them. Next I'm going to take some foil. I'm going to take two five sixteenths inch weights. And I'm just going to put those inside that foil and roll that up. And then I'm going to take another piece of foil just like that and I'm just going to roll it up too. We're trying to make like a like a one inch size ball. We're making a little cherry bomb for his feet. And then just roll it up in your hand so it, it does form a ball. And then do the same thing with the other one. Just kind of get them rounded there. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on because when you're messing with the red oven bake clay, it does get on your hands. And just to keep it from staining my skin, I'm going to go ahead and put these gloves on. And then I'm going to take the, the clay and I am going to flatten it out with a little roller. And then I'm just going to wrap that around the foil. And you want to do it this way instead of just rolling up a one inch ball um, because it does save clay and it bakes up a lot quicker. So just make sure that you get it completely sealed in. And then just roll it up until it's a round ball again. And we're doing it's about a one inch ball. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other one. Just kind of roll it out thin. And then we're just going to wrap it around there. And then I'm putting the weights in there because um, it just kind of made him set a little bit easier. It just gave a little bit of weight to his feet to make him set up better. Okay, now we're going to take our sticks and we're just going to push them in as far as we can. They're not going to go in real far, but push them in as far as you can. And then we're going to put some um, bacon bond um, oven bake clay adhesive in there. And then when that bakes, that'll, that'll um, keep it all together. Then we're going to roll out a little rope to put around the top part just to keep those sticks standing up straight. Go ahead and put your oven bake adhesive in there. And I'm using the Sculpey brand on that. And then we're going to put that little rope around them and that will help um, reinforce your stick. Just kind of make sure that's standing up good and then just wrap that around and pinch off any excess. And then we're going to bake these at 275 for 15 minutes. Okay, before I bake them, I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece of floral wire. This is going to be the fuse for the little cherry bombs on the feet. And then I'm just going to take a little dowel rod and I'm just going to kind of curve them a little bit out. Just kind of curve, make them curved out. Then just go ahead and push them into your little shoes. And then we're going to add a little bit of that oven bake um, adhesive to these as well. So just kind of put a little bit on there and then push those back in there and then just bake these until they're done. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm just going to um, paint it onto the shoes and then I'm going to pour um, real fine red glitter over the top of these. And make sure you do it on the bottom of the shoe and the whole shoe, the bottom and the, and the top of the shoe. And then get any excess off and then just set those aside and then we'll come back in and put a little Mod Podge over top of the glitter to let it dry. Then you don't have all that flaking from this glitter. And then I'm just going to put those into a styrofoam um, board that I have just to let them dry. Then go ahead and take your sock your um, that matches your hat and you're going to cut that at one and a half inches and cut that in half and that's going to be for the legs. And then just going to glue up two of the long sides and one of the short side on these.
And if you iron these socks before you do this part, it makes it a little bit easier because they do tend to kind of roll. And then just do the same thing with the other the other leg. Now we're going to go ahead and roll them up in our um, shoe. I'm just putting glue on the outside edge and rolling that around. That way I can get my seam in the back. Don't glue it to the stick itself until you get the seam in the back and then you can glue it in. Just kind of make sure it's a little bit straight and then just go ahead and put a little bit of glue just underneath just to hold it to that stick. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach them to our gnome. Just um, put them where you want to. Just take an X-Acto knife and cut a hole in there and then just push that on in. And when we figure out how we get the other leg on where we want it, then we'll pull them back out and we will glue them. Just make sure that when you put those in, they are in there straight. Um, you don't want him leaning back because if, if it's a little bit lower than the body, then he'll tend to lean back. Just kind of line them up really good. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and take them back out and just glue them in. And you may have to pull the sock out of the hole a little bit. That's what I did on mine. It kind of, when it kind of goes in there, you want to make sure you pull it out before you glue your leg in. Okay, now we're just going to attach his arms. I'm just going to put them right underneath there. And I'm going to fold them, and I'm going to glue them in. And let them dry real good, and then you can fold them up. And make sure that you have the seam facing outward on this time. Okay, then I'm just going to fold them straight up, kind of like he's holding his head going, Oh my God, I'm getting ready to have a headache because I'm getting ready to explode. Just push them right up there and let them dry. All right, there you have it, a cute little firecracker gnome. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.